Is it a happy new year or is it not a happy new year? <laughs> <laughs> happy new year, man. Come on. Positive. Happy new year, Gunas. Happy, happy new year, year guys. Come on. Happy nice. new year, guys. Happy new year. Good. Mr. B, uh, all the Gunas, that guy got a mess up. Lots of champagne there. Dad is drinking some green tea. Well done. I'm yeah. drinking. Um, news it, uh, news it is loosen is working, bro. <laughs> this is um, what is this? This is Coca Cola Zero. Herbalife. Herbalife Coca Cola. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So I'm still in recovery mode. It feels like someone stole my lunch money at school, guys. Um. <laughs> It's a, it's a difficult one to grasp, and we got a lot to talk about here. My word, um, following the fantastic Norwich game, um, then we go into this massive one, and then we probably put in our best performance of the season so far. Yeah. And then, of course, maybe the match officials have the biggest thing to say out of everything, and a bit of a sour taste in our mouth, and. I'm just learning to hate Man City even more now than ever. Uh, they, uh, you know, they won't die up on my radar of hate level, but they're starting to get there. They, they, they're coming across a bit arrogant. Um, can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I think something just happened on my outside. Anyway, listen here. I, I, I've spoke a lot over the weekend. I'm, I'm quite keen to hear what people's thoughts are. Um, Let's go. Wants to go with Neil. Neil, Neil, you winning that? Um, is that the sweet that we wore in the final? Or we we lost no, the, the, on the, the final. Oh, on our way, but that's the season. Yeah, we made the final. It is happen. Okay, did I was close. Yeah. I was kind of close. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, let's, listen, let's just get, let's get stuck into it. I'm sure there's a lot of people wanting to get their thoughts and comments on. What's your what thoughts on, on? Let's get stuck into it. On, what? Let's get straight oh. into it. I feel like most Arsenal fans, we should have won that game. The refs were very poor. We played really, really well. It's again, stupid mistakes that cost us. But yeah, the, we can take some positives out of that performance, in my view. Um, silly mistakes. Um, do, do you, uh, is there anything in particular that really left a sour taste in your mouth? One big silly mistake, or was it a few little ones? <laughs> Listen, yeah, there was two actually. It was the Gabriel second yellow card. I don't know why he's rushing into the guy like that. You could have just, I mean, look where the challenge happened. There's half a line more about why are you going in like that? And then his first yellow card was um, back chatting the referee, which the, you know, we know the referee was poor throughout the game. And then the Zaka one, personally, for me, I think it wasn't a penalty because that guy was busy falling anyway, but. It was clumsy by Zaka in the first place. I mean, you don't, you don't, yeah, you don't do that in the box though. Knowing and Zaka's got the reputation as well, so the ref's gonna give it though. Yeah, there's so much to talk about on these incidents. Yeah. I don't know the way to start. Um, George, you wanna add on from me? I mean, your feelings, thoughts on on the game. Good, everyone. We've got to stand back, eh? You know, it's easy for us in Cape Town with our drink in our hands to go, oh, you know, Gabriel made a mistake. It was the best performance of the season, man. You know, by far, we. I'm so proud of our boys, man. I don't, you know, yeah, we lost. Yeah, we lost. And I couldn't watch, I was gutted. I couldn't watch any more football the whole weekend. You know, and I actually only watch the highlights now just recently. And I usually watch the rest of it. I just couldn't, I had to switch off from football because it was. I was that gutted that level but the performance was amazing man it's the game of the season not just our game you know literally one of the games of the season though, of the premiership um yeah i thought we were immense man midfield party zaka will come back to him when it comes to mistakes but party man dominated yeah he did his basics like we were saying before about party man when he tries to move forward and do you know pass and he doesn't do it so well but when he stands back and he does his defensive midfield duty. He's one of the best. He's one of the best in the league. You know, he, he did such a good job there. They didn't have. A, they hardly had a chance in the first half. We were immense. Yeah, sure, we, we couldn't convert them. Uh, you know, what what can you say? I mean, yeah, Gabriel made. You know, Gabriel was stupid to comment onto the ref for the first yellow. He was heated. He's young. 
do we do we do we have a go at him? For, he's been so immense the rest of the season. So, you know, he's made some. He's young. He'll he'll learn from that. I'm sure when they sit down and watch that, <laughs> they all do after. He, he'll he'll yeah. learn, and I'm sure he'll come back stronger. Zaka, he had such a good game. He was he was immense. You know, it, it, him and Party, the way they connect for most of the game. So to, for him to make one of his old mistakes and to be brought up on that was such a shame. But you know, you have to say. It's Zaka again coming out, costing us a penalty, costing us potentially the game. So that that thing is, you know, something to be said. But otherwise, his game was great. So what, what else to be said? I mean, I'm just, I'm, I was proud. And, you know, the fans, apparently the fans stayed on after, you know, and they were singing everyone's song. You know, they, they were, they were, you know, the, the 12th man out there. The, the connection between the fans, the players, what's going on on the pitch, it's just phenomenal. We went into that game. We we, we, we lost 5-0. <coughs> Yeah, we just about lost the second one. Sorry, man. I'm I'm proud. Yeah. I'm absolutely yeah. proud. gutted. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. Totally fair enough. Um, I I was lucky that um, I was actually Baker. I'm gonna come to you next. Um, I, I was maybe yeah, as it turned out lucky that I actually watched the game with another gooner, like um, and not with other supporters. I, I probably would have thrown someone off a balcony or something. But so maybe so, so blessings in disguise. Small blessings. I could have been in prison tonight, you know. I could have been yeah, in jail sure. tonight. I think that makes no about Baker. Baker's up next. I'm gonna, I was here by him because you see his Christmas tree behind him. He's, he's got his disco lights there. Baker, you watched the game with me and we were both having to calm ourselves down with triple yeah, whiskeys. Uh... I think yeah, I think we actually um, stormed out of Mavrando at one point. Uh, we were so I don't even know what word to use. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even fathom what happened there. It's like nobody expected the Arsenal to bring the game to Man City. These guys were being overrun in midfield. They were basically outclassed, outplayed at the Emirates. There is no other way. I don't care what fan says what. If you don't know football, then you keep quiet. But there is no way any team in the league has done that to this Man City team. I don't care if they're 10 points clear of uh, Chelsea or Liverpool. They were lucky against us. We didn't deserve that. At least a draw would have sufficed. But we didn't deserve to lose that game. I mean, you know, my wife's a man, uh, a United supporter. She was all the way behind Arsenal. She said we didn't deserve to lose the game. My foot was here. He's a Liverpool supporter, Warren. And that what made it that made it more upsetting for us. I mean, we had to storm out there. We had to force a triple. I mean, <laughs> I haven't seen that from the that energy and, and that teamwork from the Gunners. So, uh, uh, it makes me believe in what Oteta is trying to do. And now that we've got uh, Saka and we've got Martinelli on, on the either flank, it's frightening. We had, they had seven Man City players at one stage marking Saka. Seven players. I mean, really, this light is like 1920. You've got seven world-class players marking him. You are so scared because once he drifts in on the, off that left foot, he, he, he causes trouble. He causes havoc. And City couldn't deal with him. Even the Brainer was playing uh, as, a, as a left back at one stage, trying to, 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 to basically cover Saka because of the type of uh, dimension that he brings to the team. And he, it's not that he scores goals, he gives assists. Martin Daly obviously missed a sitter, but I'm not going to hold him liable for that. Um, another reason is that why was the ref in the box? He was basically standing almost on the stick yard. Yeah, between the stick shot and the penalty spot, I mean, well, I've never seen any other ref in the Premier League do that. So, yeah. he basically impeded his weird. play. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, Martinelli had to, yeah, Martinelli had to basically go around the ref to try, and that's why he obviously scuffed the shot. I still have no excuse, but I mean, the, the ref shouldn't be there. If the ref's not there, then Martinelli's got a basically a straight tap in because Edison was off his line. He was scrambling yeah. back if he watched the replay. Yeah. So... Like I said, what about that being said, yeah. we watched the game here, myself and, uh, and you, and we, and I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Look, the goal we scored was beautiful. It was pure art. It was a work of art. I haven't seen the Arsenal play like that in years. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of Wenger Ball, but also, uh, uh, I'm actually confused now why we can't play like this or why we couldn't play like this from the beginning of the season. What has changed? Is it because of Birmingham is out? Has he been the weak spot and the team has been designed to play around him and now all of a sudden he's gone and now the guys are playing to each other's strengths as opposed to one man? 
That's yeah. a vital question. Yeah. Think about yeah. it. I mean, now he's well, gone. Yeah. I think all these guys, all of a sudden, even Odegaard, he looks world class all of a sudden. Everybody said, ah, nah, he's a bad signing. Da 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 da. That's, <laughs> that's the guy. Good. How much is this now? And how much goals? He's got more than most of the top players in the in the Premier League. Mm. So I yeah. mean, that shows you alone. Form, yeah. 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 No, it's some good points. Um, uh, this, I think a lot of people are saying it's probably our best performance of the season, especially considering the opponent. I mean, I think the commentator even said at one stage, I don't think he's ever seen, what's it, Gonzalo guy yeah. get the, the new one like that this whole season. So, exactly. yeah, no, um, that, that probably made it more disappointing, the fact that we actually did play so well. We didn't get the result. But um, maybe, listen, maybe the gods, the football gods are saving bigger stuff for us for, for later in the season because Lord knows someone owes me something. I don't know who and what. <laughs> someone owes me something. I'm telling that's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't know who, I don't know what angel, whatever. Anyway, Wolfie, your assessment of the Man City game, what was your thoughts of it? Uh, I just heard that all the gooders had to say they took a little piece out of my pie already. But, uh, you know, it was, it was, it, it, our performances uh, was, it, it was outstanding running up to this game. So, for me, I, I was a bit uh, optimistic. Um, I knew that we could, if we played the way we played against uh, City, the way we played against Leeds and all these other teams that we were thrashing here, yeah, they were poor opponents. But uh, the way we were playing, we were playing brave football. We were attacking. We were scoring goals. We were solid at the back. So, look... When the game started, we saw. I saw what I was calling from my team. I was calling for, especially in the big games. Uh, I was pissed off after the Liverpool game. I was pissed off after the United game. I was pissed off after the Everton game, but I wasn't pissed off after this game. I was. I was disappointed in the result, but not in the performance. We had the energy, we had the commitment, the di- we had directness, we had the passion, we had the aggression. The, these are kind of things that we used to see from Arsenal in the past. And it's, it's good to see it coming back now because I, I, heard inter- uh, I don't know if you guys um, listened to Pep Guardiola. He's a, a post-match interview, and he, he actually said that we were the better team. Coming out of his words, out of his yeah. mouth, he said that uh, we were the better. Uh, he yeah. said we were the better team, and he said, and he, he, you could actually feel the passion that was coming out of this guy. He said that this is Arsenal. This is what you expect from Arsenal, and you you can see this is the Arsenal of the way we played on this particular day. This is. The, the passion the passion and the, the creativity of old days. He said that he played so many times against Arsenal. He said he came with Barcelona teams to Arsenal under Wenger. And it was very, very hard to to beat us. We were we, we were on another level. And he said that at the end of the day, the better team actually lost. And what we can speak, we can speak about the Gabriel. We need we need a player to to attack a referee, I mean, we all would, we all were 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 cross at this referee. We all would have attacked this referee after the game. So we got to understand that these guys. It's not about inexperience or this or that. These guys, they they, they feel like they, they feel this the dishonesty in the referees' decisions. I mean, uh, there was three or four refs that, that actually came out and said they would not have booked Gabriel for the first yellow card. So I think the referee was a little bit harsh in, in, in booking certain players because uh, City only picked up their bookings. Why did they pick up their bookings so late in the second half? And he was like so quick to give our guys uh, yellow cards. Also with the, um, with the, uh, with the Martinelli incident, uh, people were saying that the referee is a, a, a Man City supporter, but it felt to me like he was a, that he was running to clear that ball of the line. So <laughs> you you, <laughs> yeah. you got to so at the end of the day the performance was there. It is just that I just believe that with the 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 effort might have just given us the wrong riff at the end of the day. And and as uh, Albert said, the, the assistant coach, 
he was also brilliant in his post interview. He said that this is the level that we that we want to be playing at against these big clubs. We want to match them. We want to beat them. We want to attack them. So with his words, you you, you can feel I can feel good about being an Arsenal supporter at the end of the day, because that is that is what I want to see or how I want to see my team going up against these big guys. We can match them. We can we can beat them. I mean, we should have beat them. Uh, if if we drew that game, we all would have still been complaining because we feel like we deserve this victory. Yeah. So I, I can feel proud. If, when I can feel I can feel confident when Liverpool comes to the Emirates. I can tell myself, based on this result, we can take Liverpool. We can beat Liverpool. We got the players. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, and, 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 it's, uh, and especially yeah. if we look at the difference. If we look at the difference of the Liverpool game and, and this game, we look at players that, that has come into the team that, that, that has made the team a little bit better. Players like Tenny. We, we hardly see this guy makes mistakes. He's, he's, he's like the full package at the back. He, he gives you what you need and he, he, he never makes mistakes. He's solid at the back. Uh, we, 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 got, we can complain about uh, Shaka, but he had a good game. He had a good game and and that was just for me an, 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 uh, an uh, unfortunate incident and a little bit of, of, of skill that could turn Shaka, that could have been White, White could have given that penalty away. So at the end yeah. of the day, the, this team for me is, is, is my team. I like this, this team, uh. the starting lineup for <clears throat> me. This is, the, this is the lineup that I would like to see going forward. Um, just sorry, just I mean, obviously, the big talking points. Uh, I mean, besides the good game and everything, the two penalty incidents the first one where it doesn't go fast on Odegaard, and then there's a second one where they obviously get the, the penalty decision. Um, the Odegaard one in the first yeah. half, um, you know, after you watch it uh, from a few angles, then you start to realize. Well, hold on. Maybe there should have been something here. What was your thoughts on that? On that uh, incident, we Odegaard went through, and we didn't get the penalty. Can, can I do you answer think, this one? Wait, do you think it's a right decision, or do you think? Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay, so yeah, sorry to jump to jump anyone, guys. So, 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 what I can't understand, Warren, like we both said, uh, once you get match on Saturday, that's just where the frustrations coming in. The keeper didn't get the ball. He played the man. Right? The ref was there. He didn't see it as a clear and obvious penalty. Okay. VAR didn't instruct him to go have a look at the pitch side monitor. Okay, fine. Then you get City. Similar scenario now with Jaka. That guy's already diving like Salah does. Okay, I, I, I can understand now why they gave the penalty in the end because of Jaka's stupidity but tugging the shirt. But the guy was already going down. So... Him tagging the shirt wasn't the actual resultant uh, uh, of the guy going down. You understand? So, yeah. that wasn't the root cause of the guy going down. It wasn't a typical foul, like a Jaka normal, Jaka stupidity move. Yes, he tugged on the shirt, but I mean, the guy was already going down when he grabbed the shirt. And I mean, that was like, jeez, uh, it wasn't even a, 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 that powerful that you can send the man down. So, the city players surrounded the ref, and the ref had the audacity. And they are instructed him to go look at the pit side monitor. So this is what the frustration is for Ramsdale as well in his post-match. Mm -hmm. He said he's all for VAR in the ref if the ref makes a blunder. But then why is VAR there? Yeah. There's no consistency. The there's no, well. yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no consistency. There's no equality. So once again, City uh, got the benefit of the doubt like they did in other matches against other teams as well. Where the officials are on their side, that is why they got that big gap now between the teams. Because I think half of the results, if they don't get a penalty here or there or whatever the case may be, then they will be a few points short from where they are now. So that is where the frustration is coming from from the Arsenal fans and players. I can understand Gabriel also rushing. Look, it was a bit cynical. You shouldn't have done that because I mean you're putting your team under pressure now, and this guy is known. Known for hanging. The steward at, is known for hanging Arsenal. And at the end of the day, guys, we have to we have to have to be cognizant of does refs hate Arsenal. 
It yeah, was not my team. Uh, it was not my uh, team. Or the who, who's the other other idiot that always hangs us? Yeah, uh, and and uh, Ad, what's it? Uh, Atkins. Hmm. Um, that I see, look was... like I say. The, yeah, the, the, the just on, on, yeah. yeah, just you know, on the same Everton as well against the stamp on Tommy. He was the there same. There we go. What the exactly? Yes, maybe the touch was in Tommy's face yeah. on the side of. I mean, it was outside of the line, of the line out. I mean, when I the just looking at it, I would have gone to. I mean, uh, I must admit, when I initially saw it in in the, in live, I mean, I, I thought, okay, no, it's maybe okay, this is not going to be given. Doesn't even though the crowd were going, but then showing it from different angles and stuff, showing it from this sort of the the touchline side, I thought, hold on, but this guy actually went through the play to get the ball. So I'm like, hold on, but surely now, at, at, at the very worst, you're going to go to the bloody technology and make up your own mind, but then they don't even do that. So I'm mm. not thinking about, yeah, but hold on, yeah, but, then, but then why do you have here or the to begin with? If, it's, exactly if you're not even going to, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know, what, what do you, George, not, uh, uh, Wolfie, what's your thoughts on the Odegaard? Was that penalty, look, not penalty? If you look at, for me, for me personally, if you're going to give the one pen, the one penalty that was given, then you have to give the Odegaard penalty. Like you said, if you're looking at something in three different angles and that second angle, you can see, oh, no, he, he, he actually got the guy's foot and then the guy's foot went against the ball. So it's a penalty. Mm. So, exactly. No, exactly. Like Albert, Albert the, assistant, the, the assistant coach said, you, you, you need to have consistency. You need, VAR needs to be consistent. You can't, you can't, they can't tell the ref, you can look at this one, but the first one you didn't look mm. at. So for exactly. me, because, because VAR never told the ref, go look at the first one. So they can't go tell the ref to go look at the second one because it, it's inconsistent. Because the ref, when, yeah. when, when, uh, when Bernardo went down, the ref went nothing. He went, get up, get up, son, and he ran. But then VAR spoke to him and said, go look in the monitor. So if VAR realized that they made a mistake in the first, the first instance, the other one would have wiped the other one out. They, you, you just carry on with the game. That's it. No penalty. You never get this penalty. We can't look at this one. So carry on with the game. So that would have just been a debate in itself. But mm. it was at the end of the day. It was. It's. It's. And it's not just. We can't just go and say, "Oh no, Arsenal." Uh, the referee is is targeting Arsenal. Mm. If we look at other games, there is other managers that's complaining about the ref. We saw what happened yesterday with the um, with the Mali incident. We all know this guy's dirty. The guy's clever. He went to go elbow that guy. That's a red, another red card. It is simple. So for me, it, the the whole VAR is very inconsistent throughout the Premier League matches. Certain clubs okay. is being, certain yeah. clubs is getting the 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 the, yeah. the, 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 the good part of the yeah. benefit, and other clubs has to struggle. Yeah. It's it's it's, Sorry, it's, okay. it's really unfair. Okay. No, sorry to even, break you one. Just to touch on what you're saying, brother. Sorry to break you one. Good. Uh, tell me, do you think the ref was afraid to give that penalty because he know by the letter of the law he should have sent uh, Edison off him because he was the last man and he played the man and not the ball? Normally, okay. look, uh, yeah, yeah. In the, in because that he technically case, was the last man. There's no we, defender yeah, covering we, defender. We, we, He's right there on the line. We, yeah, look, at the end of the day, we do see we do see a lot of incidents where the goalkeeper does make that uh, or gives the penalty away where... The ref doesn't want to, he gives him a yellow card. That is still, mm. I, don't, I, I don't understand that rule. Sometimes they yeah. send the goalkeeper off, yeah. sometimes they give him a yellow card. So I, I really don't understand that. Yeah, well, but, was it that ref or was it that sent the, 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 what's it, the Reese off of, of Chelsea for something on the yeah. line? Handball. Um, yeah, uh, the, 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 the silver dive yeah. is what I'm calling it now. What, what, is that a penalty or not? From what the, you saw, Neil, George, from would you give? Silver. Would you have given it the the silver pen, the Bernardo silver one now? Yeah. yeah, well, if you're talking about silver now, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, Zaka did pull him. Uh, I personally, I think he went. He was going down before he pulled him. But I mean, why are you tugging on his shirt in the box? Yeah. I mean, it's it stupid, you know. So you, we can argue it all day, but uh, unfortunately, I think for for that for that event, it was another Zaka. It was another Zaka fault. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, look, look, I mean, here we are talking about the bloody refs again, man. I, I hate it. I think I, I want to say one thing overall. I think some refs go into our games with a mentality that we are, we go looking for fouls. And this is way back from the days of Perez and Wenger. And yeah. they, they, they go all out not to give fouls on us when they should. And they, they go hard. You know, when people get physical on us, they, they allow it. And that goes all the way back. And I think some refs have that mentality, when they, you know, in our, in our games. And I think that's what happened again. This, this idiot had Stuart Atwell... You know, as as uh, Neil said, he was uh, the VAR assistant when um, when you know uh, Tommy's face got stamped on by Ben Godfrey in the Everton game. So I think again, you know, he's just going, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's just one of these refs who thinks we're a bunch of pussies, whatever, you know. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? I mean, I think the Zaka thing was a penalty. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, if you in this day and age, and you shouldn't have done it. But um, yeah. No, but even if you look at the Man United game, Aaron Maguire pulled Tommy. Yeah, he pulled the guy. He pulled the guy worse than Zaka pulled Bernardo Silva, and nothing was given. That's true as well. That's the problem. Yeah, no, exactly. I know exactly. It's just a consistency for me. It's a difference within the one shirt pull and the other shirt pull. I mean, I don't know. That's what I say. At the end of the day, these these are the inconsistencies. That's why we cannot look at uh, Gabriel getting a yellow card and say, because we... we, can, we your frustration, you always players is we all, we see it across all the leagues. Players is gonna attack the ref. It is the ref that needs to calm down a situation. You cannot give players yellow cards for asking, yeah, hey, what's up? Why why did you have to give this this that now you give him a yellow card? You can't. Players is there, they, it is it is in human nature you're going to go question the ref. So yeah. you cannot give a guy a yellow card. You cannot you cannot tell a player he's immature. He's a human being. He's gonna go question the yeah. riff. Anybody's yeah. gonna attack the riff to find out what, 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 what's up. If Tony Adams had done that, we would all been. You know, he's 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 allowed to do it. But because Gabriel is young, going yeah. to question about the, why did Odegaard get a penalty? He didn't get a penalty, and this guy did, and then gets exactly. a yellow card. For it. You know, it's ridiculous. Exactly. No, actually, I agree that it's a very soft yellow card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, one thing that I'm hearing about whenever they, you know, when they call like the what's that other guy, the the retired uh, referee, and they question him after the game, and something I've been noticing now for a couple of months or even the past couple of seasons now, it's almost like a get out of jail excuse from these guys when they must try and they're in a sicky situation. That was a bit of a fifty-fifty, and then you're always hearing the phrase um, clear and obvious. Now I think this is something that's uh, the root of all evil, you know. Because something as clear and obvious to you <laughs> might yeah. not be clear and obvious to another human being. And I think yeah. we're missing the entire point here. The entire point is we got we finally got technology in the game to get the decision correct. To hell with clear and obvious. Just get the damn decision right. I think this is what's muddling the whole because the, and, and this is why you, you, you could get the scenario where yeah. so Baker's the he's gonna call it now. The way he sees it or not sees it or whatever, right? Then it gives it one way. But now, next week, I'm seeing a, a, a same scenario, but in my mind, it's now not clear and obvious. So now what? So now I'm not going to give the bloody thing. So, and, but, but, but hold on, the three Baker gave the decision last week, the same thing. Yeah. And here, three Warren is not giving it this week. And I just think this is a bit of a bullshit. Get out of yeah. jail. I think we totally, we, I think we totally are going past the, the obvious thing here. The obvious yeah. thing is, Get yeah. the decision right. But, the but, but, all, but, Warren, but Warren, what will make sense is then, like you say, if I, if you see now, okay, I'm the ref, I gave that one decision on this particular occasion, and the very next week you the ref on a uh, in a different match, and it's a similar, a similar scenario, and you say no, that's that's even not a penalty. But I gave it the previous week for exact same offense in the box. The idea of having the pitch side monitor is for VAR to say, listen. We see maybe the guy impeded or whatever, or there's something there. We're not 100% sure. Why don't you go have a look for yourself? Because yeah, obviously exactly. the ref doesn't give the penalty mm -hmm. at first. That means, that is what Ramsell's been saying. VAR is there to assist the referee to get the right decision, like you've been saying, Warren. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. what does it cost the ref to run 20, 30 seconds <laughs> over to the pit side monitor? And I think, I think the... A minute, yeah, you know, and make the decision. The, the Odegaard scenario, it just for me, epitomizes why VAR was even invented in the first place. From a human perspective, you only got two hours, you don't have 27 hours. You're only seeing one angle in, in one second. 
Now, from that yeah. angle, that ref is not going to see that. But if Mr. VAR is sitting there and he's got his 38 cameras there, and he can yeah, just check quickly from the other angle and say, hold on, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah. You I didn't see that now on the pitch, but it doesn't you need to go to the side and have a look there. I mean, that's, that's the basics saying. that we're not that's getting around to. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the penalties on that field. It's no, after you having the monitor, yeah. is it only for speaking um, The other thing, I'm... Um, no, for, 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 no, for, for, I think there's crap decisions all over. Yeah, I think but, every but, week there's a... Just quickly, man. Like we spent so much time talking about damn, you know, the referee's decisions, yeah. And I hate mm. that. I mean, I, I knew this was going to happen. I mean, that's what I've been doing for the last two days, anyway, with my, with my friends, you know, about the game. But you know, it takes away from the performance. Yeah. I don't want to talk about these damn bloody rest. You know, screw them. You know, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> yeah. the main, you know, but you know, yeah, yeah, we didn't have a penalty decision, and they had one, and we had you no know, a soft, you know, Gabriel sending off. But at the end of the day, this is probably one of the best performances. We have had, you know, in, in a long time. It, it's, it's put us back on the map. We are top four material, you know? We are top four material now. And I think that's the most... The next question... Of, yeah, no, definitely. I totally agree. I mean... The, the other thing I'm worried about now, what are you guys, is it, your, your thoughts on our next game? I think it's Liverpool now in the Carabao Cup. Do you think that this result on, on, on Saturday, do you think this will do anything to our confidence going forward? Or will it just enhance it? What do you think the impact on the on the mindset will be? No, I think uh, for me personally, I think it will be an because we are playing home. And and when it comes to we playing the second leg the following week at Anfield. So I think we need to get the result now, a decent result before we go to Anfield. Because then we play Spurs. Oh, second half probably now. Yeah. We play Spurs yeah. the sixteenth, yeah. So we play we play um Thursday, Liverpool first league, then not on the far Sunday. Liverpool away and then Spurs. So we need to do a job on Thursday, I, I think. And and the kit is out as well because we know he's in the start. He's got COVID, so I don't know who's he gonna start. It's bowl again. But we need we need to change it up though, because now it's it's if it's up on yeah, Sunday as well. You, 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 you don't know you don't know can speak. We don't know what to where, where to where to put the eggs now. Because it's three. I mean, what happens if we go out of the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup? Is that going to now mm. affect us, affect our mentality? Can, can, yeah. can I just say something quickly? Yeah. Just, just quickly. Because, yeah. I mean, uh, Neil, Neil sent me, after we won against Bloody Sunday, Neil sent me the highlights from the 1993, the, the extended mm -hmm. highlights. And the last <laughs> league. He's like a little kid. He thinks, yeah, we, we, just, we just beat Sunderland. And I've got friends who, you know, love this whole... I can give a damn about the Carabao Cup. Screw it. We've got to beat, we've got to beat Spuds. We've got to beat the Spuds, the, you know, four days later. We always want to beat Spuds, remember? We They're always want to beat Spuds. Yeah, yeah, we do, but this is this story, of course, yeah. But, like, we've got to play them. This is a six-point game for fourth place. All that matters for me, personally, is that fourth spot. That will mark yeah, our yeah. return to the top, you know, to the but, top but, of the game. Can I tell you something? The Cup, FA Cup, it's fun, you know. Put the kids on, have a good laugh. I can give a damn. I, I, but, if we lose against Liverpool, I, I'm fine with that, as long as we beat the yeah. Spuds on Sunday. Let me, let me yeah. say something before Wolves talk, talks. Huh? Can I say uh, something? Right? Like I said, um, yeah. we're playing Liverpool. Like Warren said, if we lose against Liverpool and, and um, Nottingham Forest, I'm not saying we're going to lose. It could affect our mentality going through to the end of the season, and we do not want that. And in the past, even with our greatest teams, when we lost a semi-final, it affected them till the end of the season. And then, then everything just went off the rails, though. Yeah. yeah. Also, thing, I, for, for, personally, for me, like, okay. the, the, the beginning of the season, I, w I was happy with the top six and the FA Cup or Carabao yeah. Cup. The way we've been playing now, we can push for top four. Yeah. That's, that's what yeah, I'm saying yeah. now. That's what I'm saying yeah. now. I'll be happy with Luke. the top four. Guys, Luke, the, uh, the, Emirates, the Emirates is actually uh, sold out for Thursday. It's full out. Yeah. For the uh, mm -hmm. Arsenal versus... Um, Liverpool match, which is actually astounding because the crowd is really getting, uh, they connecting with the with the players now. There's, 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 there's no yeah, more. Yeah. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to be toxic anymore. I mean, the guys stayed behind. The fans were applauding the players after the the game against City. And um, yeah, look at the end of the day, I'm 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 hopeful and like I think Neil said now. Uh, we can play against Liverpool. I don't know. They're probably going to play a young squad. I think uh, Klopp's also out with COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't. Uh, he's, back so. he's, he's back so on the touchline now for the game. Who's that? Klopp. 
No, a okay. kicker. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I mean, Klopp was out for that game. But I, I, I don't know how Arteta is going to strategize this one that you guys said. Uh, does he go full strength? Or does he alternate and maybe give Leno a chance and some of the other defenders, some of the other midfielders play the younger guys? I mean, the last time we played a young squad against Liverpool, it ended in, a, you know, I think it was in a 5-4 or something. And Anfield? Yeah. 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 Or something. yeah, that was a hectic game. Man. I mean, jeez. So... Rufi. Rufi, what do yes, you want to say now? Now, just thinking now, it's, it's a strange, uh, it's a strange scenario that uh, our best performance comes when uh, Arteta is uh, lullaying at home. <laughs> I think he must stay. I think he must stay at home for the rest of the season and uh, let Arteta oh, and that, uh, that, you know, that you know that young lad, uh, that young lad with the iPods in the Carlos, that boy, that young boy, that guys are doing a terrific job. I must say. I, I, I mean, yeah, really, uh, really. Wolfie, Wolfie, can you answer? Wolfie, can you answer yeah. Ian's question? Ian's asking, so Wolfie, are you a tether in or out now or what? Tell, tell him I'm out of in. Um, Ian, yeah. Ian's posing that uh, question to you, brother. Uh, <laughs> you know how to be off to <laughs> I'm Albert in uh, or Teta stay at home. What? <laughs> <laughs> so he's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know who he was before the game. Did you know I know? Did you know about him? Did you know Albert? Did you know about Albert? Airport Albert. I actually yeah, knew he, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I knew Albert was uh, uh, during the Van Gaal days at Man United. He was his assistant coach there. He, Albert was also involved in uh, Wales. Uh, I think he was. Uh, they, he was a manager there, or was also assistant business. Assistant manager. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, you got to feel a bit with these guys. They, they seem to be speaking the same tune. I want to hear a manager. Like, I, I was really impressed with Albert's uh, pre and post match interviews where he said that uh, we, we want to compete and this is what we want. This is what we want to achieve when we're playing the big boys. And, and for me, that is what I want to hear. I want to hear us competing against these guys because we can do it. We got the players to do it. And you could see the bench, the whole, uh, the whole attitude on the bench. These guys is all wanting to go to war. You can see these guys is in it. They, 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 they talking, they strategizing. So, and these things is rubbing off on the players. And the players' uh, performance is rubbing off on the on the atmosphere. The fans is getting involved. So, it, it, based on here on on the city performance, it was a brilliant performance. It was brilliant. I mean, we we, we basically teared city to shreds. We we teared them yeah. to shreds. They couldn't yeah. handle our pace. They yeah. couldn't handle. Okay. They could not handle Martinelli. They couldn't handle. Uh, as Baker said, you yeah. had. I wouldn't say seven guys was was marking one guy. Otherwise, we would have won the game five 0 But it was, yeah. but it was like uh, when the guy got the ball, uh, people are rushing to this guy, uh, Saka, because we've seen in previous games, they are men, they doubling up on Saka because they know this guy, what this guy can do, what he's capable of doing, and he's been doing it now on a consistent basis. And now we got Saka on the one side, we got Martinelli on the other side, and we have a lot of fans that is, uh, they, they're quite upset with Smith Robion being on the bench and being our top scorer. But when you look at the games and then you will see that there is a bit of a balance and, 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 yeah. and what Odegaard yeah. brings. I mean, we we, we, oh, we, we got to admit the guy is playing well. He is performing. He's distributing the ball. He's not holding the ball. He's moving the ball and he's dictating play. And that is what we want from our number 10. So unfortunately, it, it is difficult for Smith Rowe to get into that starting lineup because yeah. everyone can't play. And the sad I'm thing, the one problem. sad thing now is that a party had his best game against City, and now we got to lose the guy for a month. So <laughs> it, it's, it's difficult. Think, it's difficult. We lose such a good player. Is there a concern? Uh, uh, it's a concern. It's a big, it's a huge blow. As you said, if we were. If we want to look at first place, this is a yeah. crucial time. We're getting so, top, top teams. We want to compete, and now we're losing one of our best midfielders. It's going to be difficult. It's do, going do to be difficult. The, the type of loss um, would have a negative impact 
uh, you know, on, on such a young team. I mean, they just said Thomas Barth is one of the senior guys and he's leaving us now. Do you think that, is that the cause for concern going forward with the next couple of games? Especially it's with a, the, it's a cause like, of concern, but we are now in January. There's, a lot, of loan, there's, a, lot of loan, there's a lot of players out there that is uncomfortable yeah. with their current situations. There's I, a lot of central yeah. midfielders that, that, that can come to Arsenal and that can yeah. make us better. Yeah, we are so, in January. There is no, no excuse. We need to get I, someone I, in now. It's simple. Guys, I, I, I hear there's a rumour of Newcastle putting in a loan uh, uh, spell no. or a loan bid for over. Yeah, no, we're not interested yeah. about Obama Young anymore. Yeah, yeah, he's, and, he's, and, he's, yeah. he's, hang on, he's, hang on. Hang on. He's, he's gone. Remember, he's, yeah, we I'm, can say I'm, that, I'm, I'm, but if you, I'm, if you, if you, if you, like I said, and we're going to sell him for 20 rhino slash, so let's forget about the news. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, look, no, listen, we are talking we about, need, we, we still need depth in our squad. So if a, if a bombing has gone, maybe on loan. We need a striker. Let's play it out to Newcastle, all right? We need a striker. Like I said, hasn't been scoring much goals. Yes, he's oh, yeah, been well. Oh, he hasn't. I think he's been scoring. The, yeah, he's been the catalyst for these young guys to prosper around him on the wing. I'm being very honest. And Odegaard. Yeah, he if you look yeah. at our shape, he's actually throwing players out. He, he's throwing fouls. He's, his physicality, mm. look, Martinelli is not very physical. Mm. Neither is Saka. Odegaard as well. But because they've got a focal point up front and they know that this guy is going to run me, bro. He's going to do his all. And Laka gives his all in every match. Mm. Whether he scores or not, he calls a cuck. Sorry to say so. He but, calls a shit but, in the but, box. He, so what, other options do we have? what other options do we have? We, 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 Nketi is too young. Dan is too young up front. There's no leadership. But at the moment, Laka Z, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but Laka Z has been, been that guy to be the focal point. Yeah, a link-up player. understand? So who are you gonna replace him with? You need someone else. What if he gets yeah, injured? Oba's not there. We need a striker. Oh, we definitely need a striker yeah. and a midfielder now in the channel. There we if go. we, there I we mean, go. if we could, if we want to finish in the top four, we got to strengthen in January. We have to we do have it. To. We it's have simple. to. No other yeah. way. We got to do it. No other way. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Nick This guy's a Somalian, uh, Somalian Swedish. Uh, he's quite a good player. Oh yeah, okay. He, he used to play it's, for he used to play with Odegaard as well, the real source of that. So maybe Odegaard oh, some okay. strings there. Mm. But we, we we need we need a striker regardless next season as Definitely. well. We need Definitely, a striker. Guys. Oh, I mean, think, but uh, like this um, now in January though. He's an opportunity. But we're also <laughs> short in the midfield, eh? Because I believe Michael Niles might be going to Roma. So yeah. are we losing there now? Sorry, George, you say? No, sorry. I'm just going to say about Ainsley. The one thing that actually mystifies me a bit is it, it, this is an opportunity for him to shine. You know, he played really well against in that Watford game in the middle of the park. You know, he won man of the match, in fact, when he won 1-0. So now he's got a real chance. And, he, and um, mm, that's true, yeah. He's been playing El Neni, who's going to leave anyway. So why isn't he playing AMN? As well, in you know, in that role, even if he might leave, which mystifies me. I don't understand why, because you know, we, we desperately need now someone in that DM yeah. role. Yeah, the Zambians, they're, they're a bit too attacking and not enough. I don't think they're going to have enough, um, you know, that, do the defensive <laughs> midfield duties as well. So, yeah. you know, so I think AMN would have been perfect. So, I don't understand why you know, he's played on many. I think that's a problem. Yeah. The other thing, can I ask everyone. You, you say about bringing in a striker. You know, when I was in the last, you last in the thing, we talking about last in the show, talking about Southampton, we weren't sure about the, the attack. We're saying it's unbalanced. We're nearly there. It's done so well in those last four games. Do we want to get a striker in and unbalance the team? You know, and because you know, you could really. That's the other thing. You could bring someone in, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're it's it's uh, disrupted again. So yeah. I think we're doing quite well. Do, do, do we want to rush and buy someone now? in attack when it seems to be going quite well, when we can actually wait until summer, get someone for a better price and someone probably, you know, we're not rushing to, to buy. That, that's not, I mean, I'm not saying we, we shouldn't. I'm just asking. Still, we still think? need two strikers because, I mean, Aubameyang yeah, is likely yeah. to it leave. Doesn't mean to yeah. say that it, leave. Also, so we need two strikers. Yeah, look, it doesn't need mean that. to say that... Is, we bad, is it too soon guy? for Kittia and well, Balogun, though? Is it too soon for them? Look, Balogun yeah, and Kittia. Kittia. Uh, I'm not ready. Hmm. What a, it no, but, uh, but it is not giving him them. It is not giving him enough time. He's, he's he's throwing him here, there. Rather ease him into the play. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's he's gonna play in a ball again, and it's again pressure. 
where he could have mm. just teased the players, give him 10 minutes, 15 minutes against Leeds. Mm. He's an extra team, you know what I'm saying? Get the goal yeah. team, get the confidence up. Now you're throwing yeah, these guys please. in the deep end and expecting very close from them. Yeah. And then, well, we do have uh, we, we do have FA Cup games though to, to use these guys. Just yeah, 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 also, also, maybe you want to win, win the trophy, Warren. So, like Neil said, you're putting you're playing these uh, the third division teams and so then, then you're you <laughs> you putting so much pressure. You have to play them Look what Eddie did when he headed the ball. Now was it the what the Carabao? No, no, yeah. Uh, was it the you Everton must. game? We ended, yeah, he did the ball against the post. <laughs> uh, you see what I'm saying? What Neil said? We were one. So. We were been two uh, one yeah, up in that exactly. game. Yeah. He just, he just hit that ball in. I'm in the right, literally right here. Like I say, there's too much pressure on these young guys. Um, not everybody's cut see, from the same cloth. You see, you got Saka. So got, yeah, look, you got Saka. Right now, for the Eddie, look. Yes, Eddie is good, but he's not. Quite it's just not good enough for Arsenal. It's not good enough for Arsenal, period, I man. I won't say it's not uh, good enough is 19 years Arsenal. old. He's, he's had his opportunities. He's had his opportunities. And just, he hasn't what taken it. I mean, last season, Look, last season, I think there was a lot of fight in, in uh, Martinelli. Was it? Everybody was crying. Martinelli is not playing. What is what Teta doing? Leaving the lighty on the bench. Lighty had a horrendous injury. And now, the lighty is back. And what's happening? So, okay, it's, it's something like yes, there's no real look, answers in with the uh, rotation. Look, as a, it, just going to be like Z every game till the end of the uh, season. Yeah, but if you can change it, what I'm saying. We've got to get a striker in. in. Then what's going to happen? You're going to rely on uh, on Ketia and Balogun. You've got to get a striker in now. What's a guy named Vlaovic or Vlaovic or something like that? He's gonna be a hundred million, hundred million in the summer. We know that because yes, and we have to leave him now. No, but this this is gonna be the the transfers of the strikers because there's already gonna be a, a ripple effect. We are not we leaving. are not worried Alan about leaving. how much money. We're not worried about the money story. We leave that to Edu and the uh, Krumkas man. We want a striker uh, in. That's as simple as that. There's a lot of listen, there's a lot listen, of strikers out there, man. If you're, Come on. Yeah, listen, listen, if Martin, if you're striker, is striker. What about Martinelli as an emergency striker? Okay. If we need to get to that. Use him through the month, yeah, and play a uh, uh, super just, throw on the can, can, can I okay. just say, some, someone in the comments George, box. George, George, definitely. Yeah. Sorry, just someone in the comments box, Gareth Burrows, has said, uh, we've got Jack Wilshere to carry, to cover a party. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon then? Do you reckon you're uh, um, for Jack? Super Jack. <laughs> Super Jack, Jack in the field. What? Oh. Jack can live yet. Should, okay. should we re sign Jack? Okay. Yes or no? Yes no, or no? Okay. Should we re sign uh, Jack Wilson is going to start. Jack Wilson is going to start the party. He's not going to be on a play game. The guy want to drink Jack, Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. The guy's going to be singing. Uh, the guy's going to be singing uh, about uh, Tottenham Hotspur on the bus. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I love the guy. Uh, Zim. He's a legend. He's a legend. Zim, are we doing a quiz or what are we doing now? No, no, we're not doing quiz. I didn't set up a quiz. Uh, uh, are Liverpool we doing the prediction or what for the Liverpool game? Yeah, predictions for the Liverpool game. <clears throat> Is this the table here? Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Okay, I dropped oh. again here. Is anyone in here that uh, we know that's oh, on the show? No, no, yeah. Zim is six. Okay. Gareth is seventh. All right. Morgan wow. is ninth. Oh my word. Wow. They beat us. <laughs> Wolfie, Wolfie 727 here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> George, where are you, man? Come on, get in here. <laughs> I must say, I, I, I have to say something though. Colin was briefly off the top um, mm. after the Norwich game, but she got the Man City game spot on. Hey, 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 can, hey, can we please get uh, Colin on the show, Nazim? Please, uh, we want to meet this. Yeah. This woman is sounding like a legend every time I hear this woman's voice. We came out. <laughs> this woman is kicking every no, Guna's, from, Guna's I ass. From, I don't know what the hell. I think she's from PE. I will, I will reach out yeah. to her and ask her if she's willing to join. Yeah. Game yes, are we predicting the Liverpool game? Yeah, the Liverpool game. Okay. Thursday night kickoff, eh? So, who's going to go first? Who's going to be brave enough? Neil. <laughs> Predictions for Thursday night. <laughs> be honest now. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I think, I think it's going to be a very tight game because 
it's the first leg and Liverpool will come because they know the second leg is going to be important. So they hope maybe just we'll, we'll just shut up shop. I think we will sneak a 2 1. 2 1, okay. Fair enough. Two, two one, there's a way to the I, well, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't yeah. think so. I think they scrapped it. Oh, this season. Yeah, they scrapped. I, the, way, the way goal is scrapped, yeah. It's not. Is it scrapped oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But so now, 2 1. Now, is the second leg still, uh, still happening? Apparently, it was new, so what they're yes. going to cancel it. No. Due to the COVID no. case. No. 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 As I know. No. Tell me, sorry, another thing is uh, G- no, Gabriel. I mean, Gabriel, how um, many games is he out for? One game. He didn't miss one game. game. One so, it'll be this one. The he won't miss one game. game. The okay. 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 All right. Who's it's next? Baker? You want to go... Oh, but yeah, Baker, you go for your to Liverpool. Arsenal. Wow. <laughs> How can I do that? Of course, Arsenal. Okay, three, two, Arsenal. That's a good, a lot of goals in. George, yeah, you next. Depends, uh, Liverpool, yeah. Who knows, man? Because it depends what team we play. God knows what we're going to play. It's That's a bloody caravan. Cool. It depends who they play, who's got COVID. You, you can't predict this one. So, you know what? Five, oh, three. Awesome. Why not? Five, oh. three. They, oh. five, three. Which team? For uh, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do you think we will play a strong team? That's another thing. Do you think our team will put out a strong team? I think first will play a strong team. I think first I think first game will play strong team because we only got Notts Nottingham mm-hmm. Forest on Sunday. But then the second okay. game, depending on the result of the first one, we'll probably play a weaker team with the spuds mm. on Sunday. Okay. That's what I mean. So yeah, strong Fair team. Wolfie, are, we what's first, your... are we playing Spurs next Sunday? Yeah. No, no it's next Sunday. Oh, the following. Yeah. That's not the following, the following weekend. That's Sunday now. Following. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, uh, you, we're the home team, so it's it's tricky. You want to play your fully straight <laughs> team. Uh, is those two, uh, the, the uh, Mani and uh, Salah, they will obviously be gone by Thursday. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. They'll be gone. So you can't. Yeah. Uh, they won't be. Yeah. So what uh, club done against Leicester City uh, when they were when they were three one down? He sent those two guys on, and they rescued the game for him. So look, if we play us, they they know that they saw what we could do against City. So they will obviously go to the game. Well, they won't play too many uh, kids. They will. Well, they'll focus a little bit on uh, the first teamers. I think that if we play our first team, is we, we're going to hit them with 3-1. I'm going to go with a 3-1 to Arsenal. I think we, we uh, uh, I think they deserve a 3-1 after uh, the abuse uh, we got at Anfield. Also yeah. attacking our manager, you know. So we want to hit them this time. We want to hit them with 3-1. I, I won't be surprised we need if a bit people of like... Playback time. Play and uh, Eddie and Kitty, these guys actually play Thursday. I wouldn't be... Totally shocked. Eh? Rob Holdings and oh, wow, these other six. Cedric. Can, uh, well, yeah, what's my throw play? You can Smith play, you know, play. Why, why not? And uh, you will so probably play. Yeah. The problem with Liverpool, they play Shrewsbury, so they got an easy uh, easy game, I think. So they can still, <laughs> they can still play a weaker team than a, a better team on Thursday. Yeah, we could potentially wrap up the, the tie in the first one, get the 3 0. I mean, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 3 0 Arsenal. That's my prediction. I think we're going to go three 0 I think they, they, the 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 power is taken out of the crackers for Christmas. I think they they their power is gone out to Afcon, wherever that is. So three <laughs> 0 Nazim, what are you going for? Uh, four two. I'll probably change it. Yeah, I'll probably change it depending on the lineup. But yeah. It's going crazy. Four two. It's um yeah. This fixture always seems to bring out the crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's let's see what happens. And um, yeah, so I mean, are we obviously is top four still on for us, or is it top six yeah. now? Definitely. Top four. top four. We we, we gotta we, beat Spurs. We gotta beat Spurs if we mm. want top four because they got two games in hand. So if they mm. beat us, uh, it's over. Then we can't think of top four. I wouldn't say it's over, but I'd say it's... Yeah, it's, but it would give them the momentum. I mean, if they beat us, they got two games in hand. If they win that other two games in hand, it's, I mean, it's, we're going to be a little bit under pressure. So we need to beat them. 
It's a simple thing. We need to beat them. It's going to be tough, though, man. It's going to be very tough at their ground because they're doing yeah, well now. Yeah. I, think, I think top four is so possible because if you look at the teams below us, yeah. like Man U are struggling. West Ham, I don't think, will be there by the end of the season. And it is literally Tottenham and, and ascending Tottenham under Conte. I don't personally think that Tottenham's um, going to keep up that run. You know, they're on a skeleton team. They're on a skeleton squad as well still. So I think by the end of the season, they're going to lose a few games. So even those games in hand, you know, games in hand don't count for points. So... Um, I personally think we've got a really good chance for top four, man. But as yeah. you said, Wolfie, it's all about that. that. That game against Tottenham is everything. That's why Can I'm annoyed. We have to play Liverpool on Thursday. We've that got could, be yeah, yeah. could be a make-up break now. could be a make-up break. It could be. Yeah, it's a London derby, so we, we can't beat them. We can't, of course we can beat them. That's not 0-0 zero, zero between United and Wolves. I'm watching okay. you. Not too many minutes left. Okay. okay. Who's, who's okay. So going to see goals? The Spurs game. game is just so. If we win that game, our our, 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 is, our next four fixtures is very light. Is like it's Watford. I mean, not Watford. It's Wolves, Burnley, Brentford, Watford, yeah. and Leicester yeah. at home. So if we <laughs> beat Spurs and we carry on beating that five, our next five. I mean, then we're nearly in March again. Yeah, and I think we can push I think we, yeah. Uh, I'm actually glad we got a midweek game just to get the demons yeah. out of us from mm. the the. Add luck yeah. from Saturday, yeah. and we can just carry on, take the good performance going forward. And I think if we get a good result against Liverpool, we can murder Forest, and then we can finish Liverpool off, and then we go into that North London derby with 100% confidence. You make it sound yeah, so well, easy, You make it sound so easy. things hinging on things. Not a small thing, one thing. Week. It's, it's in one, one week. It's a combination of one week. Yeah, let's... Let's hope we don't see this referee again in, in this uh, 2022 season. I uh, hope I never see this guy ever again. Please send him back to the ground. I don't want to see this guy. I don't think they will give him. I don't want to see this guy. I, I don't think they will give him. To be honest, <laughs> oh my word! I think we will veto that. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, we want that. We don't want that guy. He actually made so many mistakes. He, he made so many mistakes. He got demoted, didn't he? He got. He's he's not not yeah, but after this game, it shows you that the guy hasn't learned. He hasn't learned, man. He doesn't deserve to be in the Premier League, man. Come on. Well, look, let's just hope. Yeah. Let's just hope we got some luck in that Spurs game. It's, it's a couple of things that go for us. I'm a bit worried about that Spurs game because we spent a whole three months since we beat them singing Tottenham gets batted. I've been hearing that song everywhere. Tottenham, they're, they're ready for us. They're really ready yeah. for us. I'm no, no, yeah, no, exactly what he's saying. And of course, the. the the worst thing that could have happened was for both them and United was that they got rid of the crap managers and I was yeah. quite shocked when I saw the appointment that Spurs did because I, I really rate that guy. That guy is a winner. He doesn't take <laughs> nonsense. Yeah, look, the look, uh, look, uh, have been, <laughs> Spurs winner. has been performing really, really well. Eh? I mean, I watched the Liverpool game. They should have beat Liverpool. So, you know, it, it's if Arsenal play according to their potential and, and, and things go our way, and we, 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 we put our passion, we don't get up, let our passion get the best out of us so we get set, sent to and stuff. But if we put our passion into the game and focus on our game, I'm sure we can beat these guys. I'm sure we can beat them. I think, I think we can, yeah. We're, yeah. Only, we're only missing one player from the starting 11 on Saturday. Is it one player? That's party, right? And then our um, Aubameyang and Pepe is leaving. But yes, we're only missing yeah. party. Yes. So oh, I think the, we can push on though. Spurs yeah. game. No, yeah. No, the Man City yeah. game, we're only missing party from the starting 11. I mean, yeah. uh, Aubameyang, yeah. Pepe, yeah. You see, and is going. You see, Spurs, you see, Spurs is one of the only teams that don't have guys going to F Connor. Eh? Yeah, they, they got an advantage. Team. Yeah, yeah that's the question. Who do we play yeah. next to Thomas Almost Pepe in these four. games? Yeah. Who do we yeah. who, who play next to Thomas Party now that he's gone? You see, Ainsley or Sambi? I, 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 I wouldn't go for the Congo because I haven't been the guy's greatest fan. You know, I, the guys always making mistakes. Same with uh, Tavares. I, I just don't believe these guys need to start in the big, big games. So, it's difficult. Yeah. It is. It's difficult. Learn, though, I is would go sense? for. I would go for a, um, um, a Niles. Uh, a Niles is due. He needs this opportunity now. I mean, I wouldn't allow the guy to go. I would do the same what uh, Arteta did. Uh, they blocked his. Uh, they blocked his transfer in uh, the, the previous transfer window, 
They told him we're going to play you. They should do the same now. Is the opportunity is there? Let the guy yeah. play. The he guy played well in his for, for me, the guy right when, when called upon, he does a good job in midfield. We, we should play so, the guy. So, quick one. What happens if we play? We only have two league games in Jan, right? We play yeah. Zaka alone and we play um, Emil Smith Row for party and we just go for it against Spurs and Burnley. Oh, we play Burnley at home, yeah. We play Burnley at home in the second one, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it's very dangerous. I wouldn't do that against the Spurs that away. Certainly not. Away. Why not? We're playing. It's only Spurs, bro. They're going to play, the, gonna play yeah, exactly yeah. the same. They're playing Mora now and they're playing Kane and Song. So remember, we if you're going to sit back against them, we can't because we can, we, can, we can catch them on the counter. And Emil Smith Rowe, Saka, and Martinelli, you know, you never know. No. But the, whole, but the whole point, you need someone in that holding midfielder to actually win that in the middle of the pitch, like Party did. And I think yeah, they could be... We're going to have to lie in Zaka now. Fucking fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think... It, I don't, the the <laughs> words really lie and Zaka don't go together. <laughs> Only two games. Yeah, but, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, Zaka actually had a good game against Spurs at home, yeah. eh? I mean, uh, he had a quite a good game. Zaka... Uh, when we beat him 3-1, uh, was it 3-1 or something? He had actually had a good game. And he got injured off like deep. Day, yeah, yeah, he was playing deeper than party, and we were we were actually we played well against him. He played it well. Yeah. It's difficult, but we need we especially now with, with with Pepe also going because we use Pepe in the Carabao Cup and FA Cup games. Now we, we, we're a little bit short on, on, on wingers. I mean it's it's we, we're gonna have to buy a, a somebody that can fill these positions, uh, loan players. We're gonna have to get these guys in. It's difficult to do that, though. It's difficult to do that, though, in January. It's difficult. It's really difficult. How do you guys think they're going to use Patino? Who? Oh, no. He's still number 10, though. So, I mean, he's almost... Yeah, he's like the future Jack Walsh or whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm referring to the cup games, guy. Do you think he's going to get a run? Uh, uh, possibly in the FA Cup. Possibly in the FA Cup. Possibly. No. He scored a goal yeah. in the yeah. Carabao. Uh, yeah, but he's Sunderland, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, but he's still young, though. You know what I'm saying? Look, yeah, he so, can play. He can play the 19. Saka's 19, and he scored against the champs. He scored against City. I mean, yeah, but uh, Saka's got 100 uh, Premier League games uh, under his belt. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Come no. On. You never know. Sometimes, yeah. Wolfie, you give this like. Yeah, know, look, I'd like to see this boy play. Uh, look, I'd love to, I'd love to see this guy play. I mean, they, they are saying that he is, uh, he, he can be better than it's the future. Saka. Yeah. He, yeah, he can be, he can have a bigger star than uh, than uh, most of the guys coming out of the academy. So yeah. it's all about uh, getting the guy some uh, minutes under his belt. We, we, I'd love to see the guy play. The guy's a brilliant yeah, player. Look, I... Oh, definitely, I could see. Yeah, maybe football. maybe 20 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, against Fardis. Maybe 20 yeah, yeah, minutes, I, I think that would be fair on him. Right? I'd like to see more of him. Yeah. I don't want to listen. We don't want to listen to audio like in previous years. when you, Now you play the guy from the start and he's inexperienced and he gets caught and then the whole world is saying he's crap. So we don't want that. We don't want to make the same stupid mistakes. So yeah, I'd rather just give him I'd give him 20 like, minutes. I, no, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play him. No, no, no. We're actually going to do more damage. You're going to do way yeah. more damage than anything. No, no, no. That's a no-no. No, no. That's what I'm saying, Warren. I, I didn't mean for the start, but giving him... Yeah, now give him a 10 minutes. Yeah, look at the end of the day. You don't want to taint the guy's confidence. Yeah. The, We're going to need leadership. Nazib, I want you to ask you about uh, some transfers. Man. I understand that uh, Edu is uh, considering a bid for uh, as a defensive midfielder place for Lyon. I don't know if you heard about it. Yeah, there's that uh, guy. We were, yeah, we were, uh, we what's were his considering name? Him last, we were considering uh, him last year if we lost Shaka, but uh, Shaka stayed and then we left. We, we, we stopped uh, going after that boy. He's a uh, Brazilian uh, defensive name. but here. Uh, yeah. yes, can, can you just update us on that one? Uh, I, I know. Bruno, Bruno Guimara. There we yeah, go. Yeah. You know, that's, a, that's a lad, you know. Uh, they've been looking at him for a, for a long time now. Uh, Quite Edu a long time, yeah. Him. So Brazilian is, boy. I don't think it's going to happen in January, though. I think that is probably mm. going to happen uh, in the summer. But uh, looks like this youngster striker, if the rumours are true, the striker might happen now. And then I think Obama Young is gone. To Juventus. 
to Newcastle. Uh, well, Newcastle. <laughs> New, <laughs> Newcastle. Why get relegated with Newcastle? Yeah. <laughs> big guy, they're talking big about. Big no, they're they're talk, they are talking about uh, another story I heard is that uh, Morata is going to. Uh, he's Barcelona. going to Barcelona yeah, that, yeah. and that's yeah, going to open up the door at the Juventus for Obama and to go. That's oh. that's only like I said, it's yeah, not saying Dusan is from Florentina, but Dusan also might go to Juventus. Dusan, the one the striker that we want from Florentina, he might go to Juventus. Yeah, yeah but those, uh, I don't think Juventus got that hell to buy that guy. That guy's got, uh, like you said, he's going to be 100 million. So I don't know. I don't know. But you even even look at PSG. Mbappe is leaving. Um, who else is? Uh, um, Holland wants to leave Dortmund. So when one striker leaves, they need to replace yeah. him. And it's all tell, gonna, it's all tell, gonna, oh. tell me, uh, Nazima, accurate is that story of uh, Coutinho? Uh, we like we said, we we are but short on yeah. uh, okay, not number tens, but uh, we are short on midfielders. But nah, Coutinho, what is the chances yeah. of this guy him. coming to Arsenal? What nah. is the chance? I wouldn't even want him. Coutinho's busy. Is that is um, I, no, I saw him at um, Golden Dish. He's cutting the gates with him for there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at guy. Yeah. Said nothing about the guy is a good player. So, why is the chances of the he guy was. coming to Arsenal? No, no, wow. he was. He was wow. a good player. Uh, he's not he, Wolfie now, man. We don't you know. We know. Better, yeah. Yeah. Jo- product. Sorry, uh, George. What? George, what are you saying? No, I'm, I'm actually I'm surprised, but that rumor is persistent, and I think there's something behind that rumor. Yeah, like I heard that, no, no. and it's like, yeah, no, but he's I mean, it's crazy. We don't need him. He's, he's he's only okay. Look, he's only 28, and he had a great pass, but Odegaard, that, that's Odegaard's position, basically. Or you, yeah. you know, what happens? Yeah. Who do you play? Yeah, you know, it's it's crazy that's to bring him in. It's gonna have balance. I'd rather have I'd rather have Charlie Pacino as an understudy to Odegaard and just groom hmm. him from there. Uh, the oh, yes. one guy, the one midfield I've been watching for a long time now, is someone that we, we could get easily for under twenty million. It's the Basuma guy at Brighton. Oh, this yes. guy is good. Yes. That guy this is good. guy okay. is good. I'm telling you right now. Get rid of Shaka. Get rid of Shaka. And your partner, uh, your partner, yeah. he was party. Okay. I tell but, you but, but, but can I say one thing about that? Is like party is okay. a defensive midfielder. Party sits back and he defends. Yeah. Saka goes yeah. forward. He's really good at making the passes. Which I, you know, and that's yeah. the thing people don't, don't notice is like, yeah, he makes defensive mistakes, but they play yeah. really well together because Party does a defense while Zach yeah, moves forward and creates they compliment. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. Like so you're gonna have two defenses. defensive midfield. But John, yeah. if yeah. I watch, if I if I revert back to the City game, I was actually seeing Party doing more of the forward. Yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, that he is, was actually look, more offensive. The other uh, thing, this is what, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys realize, I don't know if you guys realize about oh, Zaka and Arteta. I don't know match. if you guys, I don't know if you guys pick this up with Zaka and Arteta, whether yeah. you'd like to hear this or not. You guys do know that Zaka, number one, is not going anywhere. Number two, he is a favorite of Arteta. Whether you, yeah. whether we like that or not, that's clear. <laughs> he is <laughs> one of Arteta's yeah. main guys. This, he's not going nowhere. Absolutely uh, no. Way. I'm just saying. I'm, I mean, I know. Yeah, it's not we, we got to. We got to look at it. Look, look. Can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you guys a question? Has the guy? How is the guy's performance has been since the guy came back from injury? How has Arsenal's performance been since Saka has fallen back into the midfield? How has Arsenal's performance been? Simple question. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's an improvement? Yes. Yeah, no, you guys no, no, think no, it's been we, good. Uh-huh. If we, no, we're no, not no, going to no, point no, uh, one mistake. No, no, no. Uh, but, but Sambi, but when, when he did come back, we were all like really worried. You remember? Because like, Sambi was doing a really good job. And we yeah. were all questioning whether Zaka should walk into the team. But then Zaka yeah. did come back and do as well. Yeah. But definitely, yeah. Yeah. Sambi was doing really well next to party at the time. Yeah. Yeah, George is correct, yeah. Yeah, but I think that, also that what happened was the inexperience, uh, Wolfie, the inexperience oh. showed in Sambi's uh, play. In Sambi, is a local game. Two, yeah, no, yeah. listen. That local game, two. he got exposed. Look, yes, yeah. here we go. He's still young, and obviously, like George it's said, he was for a few it's matches, it's and then happen. he ran into a bad patch, and unfortunately, uh, miraculously, Jaka recovered from his injury. <laughs> Even the commentator said, no other that player. Is true, eh? The guy and came back like a. Nah, I mean, that's old. There's something wrong with us. The guy, the guy came back quickly. Almost every game for Arsenal. 
I well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. One, tell you what with the, the, the youngsters making mistakes, and I'll, I'll tell yeah. you what. If it, if it's a choice between someone like, to, I'm just making an example now, yeah, a youngster like the No, is hold on. The uh, is a left back playing and making a mistake. Mm. Oh, Kalisinac has been there for 28 years oh. and still playing crap. <laughs> then I'll tell you what. I'll take the Vardis over that yeah. other idiot. Okay, okay, can I ask you? Okay, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. Who are you going to start with between? Who are you going to take between Tavares and Teddy? Who are you going to take between Tavares and Teddy now? Let's have a discussion. Who are you going to take between Tavares and Teddy now? Who are you going to take between Tavares and Teddy now? Of course. You're going to take a guy. Who are you going to take? Yeah. One no to rules. One no to rules. Okay, there you go. One no to rules. Yes, man. Yes. Thank Woo! you. What? Thank you. Sorry, what? Is, is it one of the rules? Yeah, but I'm holding well for me. Eh? You guys are rude. Supposed to say, come on, you're right. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. She's going to get you when you come to the next prize. <laughs> 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 the down one all. Sorry, guys, uh, we have to. We we we, we oh, almost yeah. fifteen minutes over. We have to end the show. Yeah, um, yeah. Good, good. Sure. Last thoughts. Nice. Last thoughts for our game on on uh, Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday. The person okay. that sold my lunch money on Saturday, I want it back. Okay, I want my lunch <laughs> money back. That, that we were split. You gotta, you gotta speak. You gotta speak to that ref, man. I think it shows at your health. He shows it <laughs> our three points. He stole our three points and he stole your lunch money. I'm telling you. Guys, sorry, before we go, Nazim, can we just answer Wayne's question there? Oh, yeah. Uh, Warren. Wayne, uh, yeah, Wayne, we, we, the comments, we, we try to... Um, yeah, but just before we go, if you guys don't mind. Answer them. Let's keep you guys um, up there. Yeah, answer uh, them as, as much yeah. as we can. Absolutely. And then we bring it up to, to, to the panel and, and the guests. Um, what, so, what's this one? But can can uh, someone yeah, bring up the... Uh, what are the comments we need to answer? Yeah, no, I didn't even see there the points. Were, there was two yeah, or yeah. three comments. We'd like to apologize yeah, for all these terrible yeah, MC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were so two so comments that we answered. We wait, answered wait, wait, wait. Uh, guys, guys, Ian and Gareth's comments, but uh, yeah. my apologies to Wayne. My apologies, yeah. Wayne. Thousand yeah. apologies to you. You got a point there. My apologies. My apologies. What's the questions? I didn't see any questions. I see it here on the feed. It's coming across. Nazim put it across the feed. It comes across. Whoever comments the, comes across the feed at the bottom here. Yeah. It says, James, quick question. Why mm. do we uh, others tune in when it's only the panel back and forth without any interaction with the others listening or watching? Does our point of view or comments and thoughts about the game not matter? Come on, man. Are we gooners too? Yeah. So, so we are not... Yeah, I want to more interaction. Are we not putting Sorry? the comments on or no 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 listen what, it, what 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 Wayne is asking is if they pose a question to the panel, which includes all of us, obviously hosts and, and panelists, uh we are not addressing their questions as well. Okay, we, so we must put the questions own. up. Nazim is all your fault. Okay, it's Nazim's fault. Okay, this is Nazim. Don't blame Nazim. This is like Zaka. Of the night, Nazim is the granite Zaka of the night. Okay, so why not? Okay, can I? I got my question for Wayne. I've got. I've got. Wait, wait. Okay, just wait a second. Wait a second. I got one question for Wayne. Oh, what is boy. your rating? We are now like in 20 games of the season, right? So what is your rating after 20 games on uh, Arsenal and Arteta's performance? Can you give me a rating uh, between one, 1 to 10? Even, the, even the, the, the panelists, the panelists is free to answer. No, uh, why simple why rating. Why? Why yeah, why yeah, mm. is going to answer, but in the no, meantime, can I get a rating yeah, from each watching. and every person? Yeah. For who? A who quick rating. Uh, no, oh. a, a, a rating on Arsenal's uh, performance uh, after 20 games. I'll give it seven. What are we, 19, 20 games now, you know? 20 games. Uh, after seven. After seven so far. We top four. Where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go. Are they done with it, Pravi? 
Of no, of of of, of wolves. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Neil says seven. Uh, I said uh, seven. George, George, George. Yeah, it's been a game of it's been a, it's two halves, isn't it? First half, we you know we're getting we weren't that good. Second half's been amazing. So on balance, probably seven, but probably no, like, man. He's talking after eight. twenty games. Well, after, I have after, yeah. the season so far. Yeah, the season so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah George yeah, got it. The first ten, the first ten is probably five, and the next ten is probably like eight and a half. There you go. Oh. So it's uh, so 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 basically you're looking at seven. Okay, about seven. seven Six point five. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the same now. Six point five. Okay, Final guys. Final um, uh, I have to end this. Um, Wayne, just to answer your question, yes, we do. Uh, your point of view obviously matters, and uh, I try to get that across as much as I can. There yeah. are a lot of comments, so I can't always keep all the comments on there for very long. And most of the time, the guys are so. In conversation, they miss the comments themselves. But um, yeah, uh, in the future, we'll we'll respect your comments a lot more than we do right now. So uh, from my side, I do apologize. And uh, when a question does come up, I will push it and uh, push it to the panel for them to answer. But anyway, guys, uh, guys in the Peace comments, up. thanks. Thank you, Dasim. Thanks a lot and, for joining us. Thank you, Warren. And happy we'll New Year, Dasim. Happy, happy New Year, Dasim. Happy New Year, Dasim. We'll catch you guys. We love you guys. Happy New Year, Dasim. Thanks, Jordan. Come on. We, uh, let's take off to the pick up, eh? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yes, guys, man. All the best. All the best, guys.